Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. Playing the London system setup, which starts with d4, bishop on f4. Play pawn e3, develop the knight. Offering bishop exchange, so I'll just bring my bishop backwards, offering him to take, which stop and denies. Not developing my pieces. Um, I can certainly move my knight here now. That opens up some possibilities of a queen check. And definitely more so now. Because he's going to lose a rook if I'm not wrong. On forward, I take. He takes back. If he doesn't, anyways, lose the rook. Oh, that's a nice way. Ah. Never thought of this one. But there must be a way out as well. If I take, of course, I lose my queen. So I can just bring back my queen maybe because still he cannot take this because I have this. Yeah, so all good. Okay, I can take with the pawn, not the queen. And now I'm doubling up as well. But I'll take on the rook first, of course, which is a free rook. And I doubt that can be saved. So... Yeah, that looks tough on the opponent already. So counter-attack by the opponent, trying to go for my pawns. But his rook is stuck there, so I'll try to take advantage of that. I can take it later on as well. Which is right now. Goodbye, rook. And if he now castles, gives me a way out for my knight as well, which is here. I'm attacking his rook again, and then I'm going here with a check. Or I can go here as well, which attacks his bishop. What's better? If I go here, then I don't have retrieval squares for my knight. So it's important to find retrieval squares for your knight. And then I won't have any, so I'll get my knight on a safer square. And he jumps in, which doesn't bother much though, but can be annoying at times. I should take this maybe. That comes with a fork. Check should not bother me much. I can move away. Now let's move away. That is better. No, then that's a fork coming. Okay, and if I get my pawn ahead, he gets to win a piece max. That's okay. Uh, what if I now move away and don't take? If I move my knight, uh, that's fine. What is he going to do out? Go back maybe and I defend with the rook. Okay, he does take there, which means I take two. Uh, okay. Let's play some attack attack. Or casting looks bad. Um, because the knight is there, I can cast it as well. Maybe I can get my rook here. Or first of all, let me move my queen up, attacking the rook. Goes back, attacking this, which I can save for sure. Now bishop here and then probably castle or just go here for the kill. Because this looks safer to me. There's no threats. Yes, he can take rook at max, which doesn't matter. Uh, I should take his rook first. There's no threats of mate, no threats of mate, cross check, cross check. Yes, there's no threat of mate. Okay. I can take this. I have to be just careful slightly that there's no threats of mate happening. Well, my opponent has got some serious threats of mate now. That would be checkmate. 
unless he doesn't save with the queen, and he does. I can still exchange everything and simplify the game. And why not? Perfectly okay. I've got lots of pieces, lots of pawns on the board. I'll win this easy. There's ample amount of time as well. Yeah, let's go for some pawn hunting. Okay, just plant the knight in the center so that these pawns are not going anywhere. Okay, I'll push my pawn forward too. And I can take. Uh, let's go with the king in the center so that his king is not coming down anymore. Pretty much safe now. Can play pawn forward, not now. I'll play this forward. Doesn't work. I'll take. And then a sidestep. And that is kind of a sealed thing. He cannot come down, right? He can't. Yeah, that's over. He cannot come here. All squares are protected. And I'll take with this. When I give a check, attacking the pawn. He's going for my pawns, which is okay. I just need one pawn to win. Not the whole army. I'll attack his. Okay. Cool enough. Let's take mine, doesn't matter. Give a check. Maybe take the pawn if he doesn't defend. And go ahead with this pawn and win it. Comfortable. Uh, let's take the king also. I have lots of time. Always move the king first. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, attacks my bishop. I'll just plant it here. All the more easy now. Hop and resigns. That's like more of a disgrace happening. And he cannot win it because he can't move the pawn. He, if he moves the king, he loses the pawn. And then uh, too many things to be stopped. And that is game over. Let's analyze the game from computer perspective once and see how it went. Yes, it went nice. Uh, and let's analyze what you should not do against the London system. I played d4, my opponent played e6, bishop f4, d5 by the opponent, e3, offers bishop exchange, which I always deny, and then plays c6. I develop the knight on f3, and then f5. f5 is always weakening because you will be you are trying to cast on the king side and then you are just weakening it up. Um, here I played knight to e5 straight away. Opponent develops the knight on d7, and then yes, the right move by placing queen on h5. Opponent plays pawn forward, and you have to take here. That's a smart tactic always. You take, and if opponent does take, you can take away the rook, or you can just play, or you can take the pawn as well here, because then uh, there are lots of threats. You can still take the rook of course and just wasting moves and you will end up taking up the rook so things like that do work out and here my opponent played knight to f5 f6 there and then i just get my queen backwards so that i can play on that same line still and opponent takes on the bishop then i take back um computer testing just take the knight at least and then let go of your rook but my opponent deny, doesn't take that. I play pawn forward. Then opponent plays bishop, trying to castle on the queen side. I take on the rook. My opponent castles and gives me escape for root for the knight as well. Then attacks my knight. And yes, as I said, always try to find out what is what are more effective squares. And because effective as in the knight has to have a retrieval square from there. Now, had I placed my knight here, yes, I give him a check, but now suppose he moves up, up then what am i going to do with my knight at max i can take a pawn but i lose my knight instead i got my knight on e5 now that is attacking the bishop it's centralized knight you can go back has good retrieval squares unlike here uh, because there the knight will not have any of the retrieval squares and then we'll have to sacrifice it so always try to find the retrieval squares 
of when it offers a pawn, but I took the bishop first, uh, gives a check, I go with pawn forward, takes on the knight. Uh, op computer suggesting take on the rook first, okay? Because if I do take the rook, opponent takes on the knight, I'm threatened with check. And careful here because this can lead to a checkmate. And if I go up, uh, then also compute, uh, opponent can give a check at least and I run away with it. And then there's no follow up because we yeah, are too much less of an attack. Opponent is not having much great time here. Uh, I can, I think, how is bishop here? Uh, maybe then opponent plays the knight and then it can be troublesome as well. I lose the bishop. That's my computer suggesting just move the king away and then there's no check coming. Uh, but you don't want your king on to be on f4. So instead in the game, I went with knight d2. Opponent takes on the knight. I take back with the pawn, giving a check. And then I got my queen on h, uh, on g7, trying to attack the rook. Opponent tries to attack me with the knight and queen now. Uh, and again, if I'm not careful, that's again a mate. So I have to be always careful and get my rook active on d1, trying to defend the knight. Yes, that is offering uh, hurt, going to take my rook, but I'll take his first. And when opponent does take, uh, I took back. I can go back as well with the rook, but next move, yes, I did. Uh, attacking the knight. And if my opponent is not careful now, that's mate in two. Uh, if I take with the queen, opponent goes down and that's mate in one. Yeah. Uh, so my opponent goes back instead. Yeah, now I can go in on with the knight and then give a check, trying to move him away and then take on this. Uh, what is the sequence from here though? Uh, opponent cannot just move the knight because the queen will be lost. Opponent cannot move the king, otherwise uh, he will lose, uh, or that can be a checkmate as well, or he will lose the knight for free. So pawn forward or going back with the queen as the best move suggest. Uh, okay, then rook to back rank, and then uh, all you can do is get something in between, because if you don't, and suppose you move the queen, uh, queen there, then it's going to be made quick. A check would mean you are running away, and then that means you lose the queen, and that's just end to a misery faster than you thought. I took on the rook and uh, knight instead, and then exchanged the queens, and then went with knight trying to control the pawn structure, took on the pawn, went with my king in the center, just making sure that there's no threats or at all with the pawns moving forward. And once you control uh, the king, then there's no problem. Your opponent's king is going nowhere and you can just take and go ahead with the knight uh, and bishop just trying to gobble all the pawns you can. It's 59.1 in favor of white. Uh, there's no way that the opponent was winning it from here. Just going on with my pieces. Computer searching, you can take on the pawn as well, but I just tried to safeguard my bishop. Got it back and then open probably realized that it's going to be a quick mate. It's mate in 13 from there and there's no way that uh, this pawn can be stopped. I have a king, I have a knight. Bishop is already guarding an important square, so that will be in. I hope you like the video, uh, the lesson to be remembered from it. Always make sure you have a retrieval square for your pieces when you're attacking as well. And I hope you like the video. Do let me know feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give a thumbs up to the video too. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.